This is not a test. This is not a test. This is not a test. Back to Prepper Now. I want to talk to you today about some of the aftermath, of course, of what's going on with the politics of America and uh, just some things to consider. I know some people are like, hey, you know, have you just let me enjoy this for one day or, uh, you know, I just want to want to get excited and, and, and I get all that, you know, I'm, I'm definitely happier with the results this way. I mean, as you know, I, I've said it, it really doesn't change a lot. Well, I mean, I guess it does. If It depends. Um, and maybe I'm used to uh, the conservative side of politics getting in and then doing nothing. I am, I am uh, used to that, and uh, it is an expectation. But maybe this time they'll go in and, and do what I hope they will do, which is uh, basically clean up the the government growth, the government waste, the government itself. It's just too large. It's too bloated and bureaucratic and expensive and so much more that we could be putting our interests into. So that's my hope, but we'll see. But one thing I want to tell everybody is you need to be careful around uh, people that are not happy with the the result. There are still a lot of people out there that are not happy, um, and they can do things to your life, your status, whatever. I mean, these you know, there's a lot of people out there. Cancel culture is still real. There's still people out there that are unhappy with this, and if they can take a swipe at you, whatever that may be, whether that's your job, your personal life, uh, they will do that. They will uh, take a couple of uh, glancing blows as they are not doing uh, their, they're doing their unhappy dance, whatever it may be. Um, you know, we, we do have a, a very long political fight coming up and we need to keep people basically on the uh, path to correction. You know, what I mean is, is, you know, just don't let your guard down. You know, don't get, don't gloat, don't uh, open yourself up, um, don't get arrogant, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the best things I've seen from people saying is, you know, what I'm going to do is they have said, you know, I'm going to just keep prepping. And that's exactly what you should do. You should just keep prepping. Just keep doing the things to get ready. I mean, we still have a recession that is brewing and uh, will probably be officially called during the first quarter because the anointed folks will not have it called under their watch, even though everything was set up. Not everything. There are things that were set up under uh, Orange Man Bad as well. I'm going to still call them that. I'm sure the people in the back are... uh, unhappy so to my fellow creators if you're listening watch your back there just like I mean just don't don't get arrogant like just know that there are a lot of people out there that are quite unhappy with this and if they can do things to make your life a little tougher a little less happy take a little joy from you you know like the joyless folks on the uh, other side, Miss Bahar and Miss Reed, they're they're going to do that. And you know, the best thing for you is not to rub people's faces in it, but to hold our side to the fire and say, "Look, we've got our momentum, and we need to keep chugging along." And 
fix this stuff. Fix all kinds of stuff. The, I mean, there's there's so much wrong. I mean, just, just going into the Justice Department and taking out the activists and just getting back to a justice system that is that is equality based and done to try to stop terrible crimes and not go after people politically like that in itself is a start so these are the kind of things we really do need to keep focusing on because yeah it's it's just I'm afraid people are going to get arrogant I don't know maybe it's the coach in me if I were like on a team that was not supposed to win and we uh, got running out and, and just started crushing them and, and run up a, a pretty good lead, I would definitely tell my, my team not to get arrogant, not to let up. You know, that's kind of where I guess I'm going up. Don't let up, but at the same time, don't be nasty. Don't go after people. Don't, uh, you know, try to rub people's faces in it or, or, or gloat or go out and spend your time online battle commenting with people and, and, you know, telling them how dumb they are and all that. It's just, in the ultimate scheme of things, do you really think that? That's another thing I was talking to my wife about. Do you think any of these people are going to really change, like maybe see the light and say, you know what, maybe our, uh, the reason why we, we didn't get it this time is because we're focused on a lot of fringe cultural stuff that really isn't a kitchen table item of people. Do you think a lot of these people are going to be seeing that and saying, you know, self-introspection, hey, maybe I should have, or, you know, we did it this way wrong and next time we should I, I highly doubt it I really do I highly doubt it I, ha- I highly doubt that many of these people will see the light in you know focusing more on economic issues and less on you know bathrooms and, and all that kind of stuff and you can use your imagination I don't really see them seeing the light. I don't see them going, ooh, you know what? I think we should focus here. Let's let's focus on economic packages and jobs and you know all that kind of stuff. I just I don't see it. So my suggestion to you is not gloat, keep prepping and keep doing the things and just make sure that you are trudging in the right direction, all right? All right, friends, God bless. Check out the links in the description. Darken out the bell if you're new here, and we will see you on the next one.